Hello everyone, my name is Sick, and welcome back to Factorio. I had another series going on this, but unfortunately I had to reinstall my Windows a while ago, because I was running into the tr problem where I had to uh, restart my computer every once in a while, because it just froze up completely. And, well, it basically said it would keep all of my... Um, documents but somehow I still lost the save game for Factorio so I lost all of my progress but I do love this game and I do want to continue with it so we're going to start a new uh, campaign but this time around we're simply going for a default game we're not going for train world or anything like that I want to have uh, something you know like some use for artillery and artillery trains and things like that because that's they're really good at cleaning and yeah, keeping clean a perimeter around our factory, I think. So that is something that we want to do. So we will do new game. We will have default settings. Everything will be on regular, like normal, medium, and regular settings. We won't touch any of this. Uh, we will generate a preview so we can have a bit of a look at what we're dropping into. This looks interesting because we will have plenty of space to build. We have some cliffs to the northwest. Um, <laughs> lots of biter bases and so so many cliffs wow um, that could be good for outposts to get materials like iron and copper and things like that we have uh, uranium to the north and the northeast as well as to the south we have a lot of oil so this could be a great place for oil production we have some forests towards the south so if we can expand in this direction that would be cool because, well, this will soak up pollution. And then most of our threats will come from the north and northeast. And the northwest as well, I guess. But we can make use of the cliffs for defenses. So I'm not too worried about that. We have iron and some uranium <laughs> and some other stuff. Um, big iron patch right here, which is good for uh, expanding towards. And I guess, yeah, we will expand south as we go but we are going to start off in this area somewhere and let's have a look we have coal we have iron we have copper i don't see stone right off the bat that is interesting why can't i see stone that's eh, bound to be around somewhere let's play all right tips and tricks we don't need that Factorial free play, we know all about that, or at least I do, so that is nothing new or interesting. Right, so we have 570 80k iron ore, we have 273 right there, we have some oil patches nearby for an initial one, we have enough coal to last us for a long time, we have enough copper to last us for a really long time. And more coal up there, but I still don't see the stone, that is going to be problematic really problematic actually because we are going to need a lot of it <laughs> all right um we have some rocks though that we can use and so it begins again all right let us get one of these, we'll get a mining drill, we'll start collecting some of that. Oh, we do have a little bit of stone, I completely forgot about this, like I didn't see this at all, but that is, well, it's, it's going to have to be enough, I guess, to get us started until we see an outpost somewhere. This will help us make walls, and we are going to need walls, and a lot of them too. Right, let's get some more stone, because we want to have a lot of furnaces. We want to have as much of this as possible. Alright, got some stone now, so that's good. We can craft all of these stone furnaces, and then we should get some iron. And I think about 10 will do for now. We can make a single stone furnace if we have 10, I think. I'm not sure about the requirements anymore, but we will see. We'll see when we get there. We're just going to gather up 10. And then we're going to smelt that. And then uh, we're going to start crafting another mining drill that we can put on here. And then we can just kind of go back and forth for a little while. 
Now one of my goals for this game, or this particular playthrough, is that we are going to have maximum expansion. Because normally I don't like the desert, but we have a lot of open space that we can use for smelteries and spreading things out and making sure that we have whatever we need. So I think we're going to have iron smelting over here, we're going to have copper smelting over here. That's quite far apart, but uh, I think it will be useful. We're going to try to make some highways. Let's see. Oh, we need nine, not ten. And we're almost there. There we go. Yeah, let's, uh, let's grab all of this. It's going to keep feeding into it, so I just can use all of this for... Um, for iron here. Right, let's place one down right there. They can feed straight into this. Right. There we go. I guess this will be fine as well. We can just kind of um, keep placing these over here. And we're going to make a second one so they can keep feeding into each other. We're just going to make one box. Crap. <laughs> Wrong placement. So this can keep filling up on coal a little bit. But we are going to need our iron. So this is going to be something that we are going to keep expanding on. Let's have a look. Put it on the edge there. Meanwhile, I guess we can gather up some wood. Because we're going to have to wait a little bit. But yeah, this time around I do intend to launch a rocket with this campaign. And like I said, we're going to spread things out. We're going to keep ma making things larger and more spread out so that we have room and it won't turn into a big spaghetti mess. Hopefully, that is going to be our goal. I always underestimate the kind of space that I need. So we're going to grossly overestimate the space we need this time around, probably. But um, that's a lot better for Factorio than it is for other games. Size is the price, after all. All right, um, let us see. We can make a few more stone furnaces. Right, got some iron plates. Let us get some burner mining drills. We have three here. We're going to have four, but we're going to put a little cluster of four together. Let us see. Let's. do it like that we're going to pick up this box these guys will start feeding into each other so they will keep each other fed and every once in a while I can just run up here and grab 200 coal from it so that is going to be useful as you can see right now they're all working because they're feeding into each other so we can use the other one to make another iron plate smeltery we will divide up the coal grab some of this and then we're going to have to start doing the exact same thing, but we're going to have to do it for copper, I think. Because we're going to need some copper for power, and then later on we can use walls and things like that. But first we should get some more stone. Uh, I could manually mine it from here, but I guess we need some rocks to get out of the way as well. So we're just going to start mining these instead. And clean up the terrain just a little bit. One of my goals for this episode in particular is going to be to get power up and running, to get basic smelting done everywhere, and then we can have the beginnings, I guess, of um, a proper setup. I just noticed we also still have some smelters in my inventory. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> well, at least we have plenty of stone now, so this won't be a problem for long. Um, we should de definitely grab some coal, and I guess we did give these guys some time to uh, to do that. So, yeah, <laughs> not all is lost. Let us get... Oh, we don't have the iron. But we can... Yeah, free, free burning mining drills will be fine, I guess. And 
now we just need to divide this up as evenly as we can I guess we were going to mine this big rock while uh, the first plates get smelted because we are going to make electric poles and for that we need copper so yeah we don't have enough copper or we have plenty of wood but we are going to need a lot of these small electrical poles so the more we can craft right now the better it will be for us one of these guys is going to end up stopping pretty soon I think but yeah this, this will do this will do nicely now we just need a lot of iron plates so we can get basic electricity going and of course we would need our first electric mining drill for that we need more copper which uh, is being used up right now got some iron plates we need two boilers we are going to need um, four steam engines which we don't have the capacity to make right now I don't have to feed these guys again there's only a little bit and those two guys left as well and now pretty soon this guy is going to stop as well let's have a look all right so Second steam engine, that will be fine. We need we need some copper as well. So I'm going to run back down. And it's going to be so great once you don't have to run around anymore to get all the stuff you need and you can just have it brought to you. But um, yeah, all right, so we need more iron plates. Iron plates is going to be the major focus at the beginning because we don't need a lot of copper at the start. We are going to need a lot more of it as time goes on and we start making computer chips but for now this will do nicely let's see we will have one offshore pump we will have an electrical mining drill and let's see where are we going to place this is the question I guess you know we can have smelting down here smelting down there we could have power right next by the water I guess this will be a nice area for it I guess you know as good as any at least at the start and then we have um, oil up here, so we can have our oil facility up here, and then we can just kind of go towards this area with power. Yeah, that's exactly what we will do. We don't have enough iron plates for now. I want to start with an underground pipe. I want to have a regular pipe as well. Right. Okay. So, um, let's start right here, I guess. This... Uh, Seems like a decent place. We're going to have a bit of an area of uh, where nothing's going on, basically. We will have a pipe in the middle. We can have a pipe over there. And one of these guys, one of these boilers, can have two steam engines working on it. So this will do nicely. We will also get burner inserters because these guys do not require electricity. So as long as some coal is on the belt, they will grab it on their own, feed themselves, and then feed the boiler again. And let's see, where do we have to get the coal from? Yeah, we're going to have to get it from here. That's a long way around, man. A long way around. Right. We're going to place electricity poles right there and there. And then I guess what we could do is yeah we're going to have electric smell or um, electric mining drills up here first so we're going to go straight up we're going to have belts right there so this is where we will place down our first and this will have to be changed a little later i guess or we can just go up like this and then kind of go around because the spacing is going to be different once we place down the mining drills yeah we'll just kind of keep going we need two tiles. We'll keep kind of going up here, and I'm just looking at the mini map. This seems like a good place to go down. And indeed it is. Awesome. Right. So now what we can do is we can get one of these guys going. And now we are going to need. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we can put it on right on the other side there. This is going to be the challenge. Bringing this stuff up. 
we have a long, long way to go before we get here. Let us grab some coal to start. Because we should also kind of keep expanding on this little system, I guess. Get some iron plates. Get some steam engines. And then we start making transport belts. We should research automation. So we're going to make some laboratoriums next, I guess. So we can research this. Um... Already lost all of my coal. <laughs> right, let's grab some copper plates, see how that's doing. It is completely out of copper down here, but it looks like it. But we have 213 plates that will keep us going for a while. And these guys will all run out of coal soon. Alright, so we got 40 transport belts. It would have been nice. If we could have gone straight in this direction, but apparently, no, I don't think that's going to be happening. Or actually, we have smelting down here, right? So we could go down with this stuff. I think that would be better. We'll go right along the edge there. And we're out. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to keep doing this for a bit, and I'll see you guys once we have this set up properly. Ah, just a quick note, I made a laboratorium. We're going to start researching automation. So, once we get some coal into these machines, then we'll do well. Alright, so I'm also making some uh, potions, I guess, or some science packs, if you want to call them that way. Science potions. <laughs> We made some more um, transport belts, but the reason I want to aut uh, research automation is because we will get access to the assembly machine number one, and then we can automate the production of transport belts, because we're going to need a lot of them, and I don't want to keep crafting them by hand. So that is going to be priority number one. And while we're up here, we should grab some coal. Because we need to feed the power station. So, yeah. <laughs> and the beginning stages of Factorio are always, you know, there's a lot of priorities, a lot of things you have to do, and you ha you can do some planning, but it is still a lot of waiting. All right. So I guess we could. Technically put some boxes here and then fill these up with coal so that these guys can keep going for a little bit longer. We have enough power. We will start doing our research. We will feed this with the science pack so we will have automation soon. Yeah, I think this will end up going pretty well. We're going to have an initial smelting stage before we do the main line of things, I think just to get things started, to give us enough materials to work with so that we don't have to keep crafting things by hand. I think that will be an excellent idea. And we still have these two steam engines as well, so I'm going to hook them up to the power station. Yeah. Things are looking pretty well. Got our first initial setup for power. We have you know, the beginnings of some automation for the smelting stuff. That's going to be good. Plenty of plates. I guess we could get a second electric mining drill, put it on the other side. But we should have enough power for now. And we're going to place these a little bit further down the line, I guess, because I want to have this space like so. And we're going to put these Alright, <laughs> do it a little bit differently this time around. Let's put two in here. They will keep feeding each other. And this will start providing power to us. We're almost ready for our first little bit of automation. There we go. Let's make two assembly machines. We are going to need some boxes because we are still going to have to feed this manually. We will grab a power line to go down here for a little bit. 
All right, so this is where our iron is going to go in. We need some, two more boxes for this stuff to go out. Um, we need six of these. Actually, we need six wooden boxes because we are going to have to get um, two more assembly machines. I'm trying to work this out in my head. We need gear wheels, first of all. So... These guys are going to be making gear wheels. These guys are then going to put it into the next machine. We're going to have boxes on either side, like so. These guys will grab it out, and then we need... Ah, crap, I had the boxes. <laughs> Never mind. Well, we can keep using them for other things as well. And these will have the original... Let's see. All right, let's get 25 in these. All right, keep feeding these guys. These guys, they will make transport belts. And there we go. We have our first little setup. <laughs> Alright, automation is finished. I guess what we should do next is get logistics. That is going to be 20 um, science potions. We will have to craft those by hand while we wait for other things, but we are going to need iron plates for it. So basically what we need is a lot more iron plates. But like I said, we're going to have to keep feeding this manually for a little bit. We have stone furnaces, so we can actually uh, expand on our little setup here. Put it right on the edge. And then we don't really have enough coal, so we're going to feed one. We're going to get these transport belts, and we're already out of iron plates for the <laughs> for the copper wheels. All right, get this stuff going. Yeah, I feel pretty well about this. Wow, that's only ha that only has five. Let's grab half of this and put it in there. Right, 42 iron plates. Let's keep making this. We have 48 new bits of transport belts, so we're going to keep expanding on this until we reach our power station. And let us see, I want to go by in this direction, so oh, that works out perfectly. I want to make the best use of space that I can, so I guess we're going to Keep going up right here and that's about it <laughs> all right so I'm going to keep doing this in a little loop until we reach all the way over here and I'll see you guys in just a second all right so we have our first little loop energy is now self-sustained so we don't have to worry about that so much anymore now we can start worrying about other things like basic automation and we are going to make some electrical mining drills. I'm already making some science packs so we can feed a science machine. And um, yeah, things are looking up. We have uh, a little setup for transport belts so we don't have to craft those by hand anymore as long as we keep feeding it. And already, again, they're sitting still not doing anything. So... <laughs> This is going to be a little bit of a chore for now, I guess. Or we could actually automate this as well and just feed it into here directly. We could do that, but we still have to keep feeding coal to these machines. Um, it could be interesting. We could make, let's see, five of these electric mining drills, put them on, on here, make them um, run into these smelters directly, and then uh, have inserters to grab the other stuff, put it on a belt, and then feed it into these boxes directly, or just put it on a little transport belt right here. I think that would work well, I think. Let's see. Three more of these. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. But, of course, we are going to first put in all the stuff that we need for logistics to finish researching. Right, we need one more thing to be crafted. There we go. This will work nicely. 
Right, so we have our money drills coming up. And I will place them down in just a second. Alright, so we have the world's ugliest setup, but at least it's automated and it will keep producing things for us. Right? Oh. <laughs> I guess never mind then. Alright, there we go. Got some smelting going on. Now this little machine should keep feeding itself. And I have some extra boxes of, of um, coal, so that these things will be able to uh, keep producing for a little while longer. We, we have 50 in every smelter. And um, yeah, this will keep us supplied nicely with transport belts over the long haul, I think. Let's see, got 10 of those. Logistics are done. We should start researching turrets, I guess. Because I don't know how, what the pollution is looking like. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty decent, I guess. We have some stuff going off in all directions. So I guess um, two radars would be in order. We'll put a radar right on the edge here, and then we're going to put a radar down by the copper smelting. And that reminds me, we should activate the copper smelting again. So, yeah, that is something we are definitely going to be doing. Of course, now we could also get a splitter. We could split coal from this belt and shift it over towards this little smelting area. And then we can just kind of... Uh, keep that going there's nothing in there so yeah all right again this is ugly because it is our first setup this is not what the finished product is going to look like um, let us see so we need inserters on this side we need to go down and around yeah and then we need about six of these inserters and we don't have enough materials because of course we don't <laughs> why would we ever have enough materials right let's grab a little bit of this let's grab or let's place down a third of these guys we should also make some more electrical pools or uh, wires i guess now one downside is of course that electric um, iron is no longer being saved up for us so that's going to be a little bit of an issue but we will have enough soon i think actually yeah we should probably uh put back some smelters for personal use right so we need about four more do we have enough yes we do cool Let's grab half of this. This will be personal iron. Or iron for personal use. Wow, I have to walk all the way around. <laughs> I blocked myself in there. And we can't walk along this little edge. Okay. Shouldn't forget the transport belts. Got quite a lot of them already. And then, of course, we should... Ah, we have to bring it all the way from over there. I didn't take that into account, but we should. Uh, it's not symmetrical. Let's let's do it like that. This is this is good. This will be fine. Yeah, let's. Uh, we're not going to have enough power cables, man. Actually, we have a few more than I thought we would have. We can bring this up. Can we make more? No, we don't have the wood. Damn it, man. Come on. All right. So last official action of this day is going to be making sure that we have this stuff covered. Grab this little dry tree. Get some small electrical poles. <laughs> we only needed one more. Come on. Alright. One more electrical mining drill. 
just to have this uh, base covered because we are drawing more and oh yeah we have the radar as well so we're going to place the radar that is going to be the last official action of this video um, what the hell's going on outside we have people honking their cars like crazy I guess we won a soccer match wow well then uh, please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this video and want to see more shut up and I'll see you guys for whatever video I do next <laughs>